What's going on guys? Oddball Reefer here back at it with another video. Today's video we're going to be talking about TDL Chroma Boost. Let's get to it. So today's video we're going to be feeding some of the corals in the Caribbean reef behind me. Um, I got a couple different sizes here. We got the TDO A, which is the smallest size they offer. And we got the extra small. Uh, we're going to kind of feed a variety of different corals. Uh, we're going to use the TDO A for the uh, Gorgonians. Um, we got the extra small and the large. We're going to try to feed the Scoli and a couple other large polyp stony corals in the aquarium. Um, so I'm going to show you how to mix up the uh, TDO A. Uh, what you pretty much have to do is grab a cup, um, get some water from your tank, and stir it up really good to get it all. Um, into the little water column in the cup and then you can feed from there. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that and we're going to get started. So right here we got Antilogorgia. It's a sea plume. A good blast here. Keeping the flow on so I can kind of just broadcast the rest of the tank. Good solid feeding there. Hit this Star coral right behind it. Now we're into the split pores. I got a couple split pores and some flat blades. You can see it closing up really well. All the corals love this stuff. It's getting water to each. best feeding responses, feeding this than any other food I've ever fed in my whole life, in all honesty. Love this stuff. Uh, with that said, the school is starting to open, so I'm going to try to hit that with a couple of the larger um, granules of the TDO. As you can see, you can see the little particles of TDO floating past and the scoli is starting to open here. Go ahead and give it some larger granules. Same solution. I'm just gonna get some double out of here. Turn up the flow for just a second. We're gonna try our best to get it here. There we go. Oh yeah. One of my favorite corals to feed. Got a little bit of hidden cup coral down here. It's fully open music. That's been open at night since it's a really hard coral to actually get to open during the day. I'm going feed quite a bit. Yeah, look at this. Look at these perizoanthus here. I love the food. Sea squirts getting a little bit over here. And I mean, most corals, I mean, the more you feed them, the happier they are. You just gotta be careful with nutrient levels in your tank. As you just saw, the school is still eating right now, actually. Um, the corals love that stuff. Like, I put it in the tank and everything opened up real wide and happy, like, within a couple seconds, and now the bluehead's trying to eat the food from it. So I'm gonna throw in some large pellets here. Feed the fish. See how hungry they are. It's picking all the food off the corals. Let's see if we'll actually start grabbing the pellets. This is the bluehead wrasse. I got a cherub fish. We got a Spanish hogfish in here that's hiding right now because he's newer to the tank. Um, I got a chalk bass. Um, I had a couple others too, but we had an issue. I had an issue with the tank and lost a lot of fish, which is a real bummer. Um, and that was caused by me, so that was even more of a bummer. But, um, Everything seeming to do really well right now. The corals are happy. Still battling a little bit of dive times with the new tank syndrome. Um, but this stuff 
parameters are doing really well right now. I mean, everything's good. I'm um, getting ready to do a water change right now, so I did a little bit more of a heavy feeding than what I normally do on a daily routine in this tank. Um, but it's getting the water change tonight, so let it sit for a couple hours, let the corals eat, and I'm going to get on the water change. With that said, guys, I just want to show you um, my corals' response to the TDO Chroma Boost. Uh, like I said, it's just a pellet food. Um, it's good for fish, corals, inverts, and pretty much anything in your tank. Um, I love it. It brings out the color in the fish for sure. Um, I mean, this bluehead was a really dull color when I first got it. And after a few months of feeding it TDO, the colors have definitely densed up. Um, and it's kind of actually gotten a little bit dark, which I think is really cool. Uh, I used to feed this to my clownfish at home up north. Um, now that I moved, I do not have the clownfish anymore, but the clownfish loved it and they colored up super, super bright orange. Uh, my parents use them, or use this stuff as well, and they really love it. Um, yeah, this is really good for uh, bringing out the color in your clownfish, um, as well as any other colors, especially red and orange. I mean, it brings out that color and it sticks out. So this chairfish is super happy, super healthy. I love it. Now I really just kind of get to work on filling the tank out with some more coral and some more fish and this biotope is getting there so can't wait to see what it's like when it's done my opinion that tanks never finished so it's always something to do i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals we'll see you next time